Hi everybody. Oh, today is, oh, my hair's gone a little awry. Today is, what is today? Today is Saturday. It's the last day of Vlogist. Woo! <sighs> That's been a long haul. <laughs> but I did it. I got through it. And I've met a lot of wonderful people doing it. So um, thank you so much for everybody that has joined me that's new. And thank you for all of you that have stuck with me through a whole month of me talking and dancing and doing crazy stuff. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's... Um, Hopefully going to slow down a little bit. George is, I think, a little jealous that I have been spending so much time with you guys. <laughs> but that's okay, because he's been working so much, and I don't get to see him. And when I do see him, he comes home and he falls asleep. So, tip for tat. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I'm on the computer with you guys. So, I don't know how I got any crocheting done in between that. But, uh, yeah. So, so here we are. August 31st. And now starts a new venture. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, this is probably still too hot to drink. Oh, very hot. Very hot. <coughs> What's in my cup? I might as well do that now before I start the other. It is Chinese lychee black tea. I get this from uh, the Chinese store, our local Chinese store. And then I put some of the, oops, honey bush um, mandarin orange tea in with it. Just to give it a little, <clears throat> oh my. I'm having a really hard time today. I seriously think I might be coming down with something. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, so the new venture is the mask. That is going to be starting today. Yeah. Oh, I'm so nervous. I, I hope it turns out well. You know, but then again, I have no control over the way it turns out because... Bailey, don't start, please. Because uh, I start it, and it doesn't turn out the way I, I expect it to turn out. It kind of takes on its own life. So, it'll be interesting. You'll be seeing it pretty much the same time I am. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, okay, let me see my checklist today. Um, oh, right. So, chronically crochet did a yarn haul, like massive <laughs> yarn haul. <laughs> Holy cow. She got a whole bunch of, um, I love this yarn and it was really cheap. Oh my God, I was just drooling, I was so jealous. Um, it, uh, I don't know how many balls of yarn, I can't remember, like 25 balls of yarn for like next to nothing, it was insane. So, yeah, so it was um, oh, just watching her pull one ball after another out of her suitcase. I was just like, what? <laughs> so, and they were all like a buck and, you know, under $2. And I was just like, wow, unbelievable. Speaking of that, I was talking to some of you on um, Instagram there's a feed there. I don't know how you guys did that feed because that was really cool. Uh, but it's like a chat. I'm new to this kind of stuff too. But you guys were talking about different sales that you guys had at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and all this kind of stuff. What are you doing back there? <clears throat> and I, I said, you know, like up in Canada here, it's, um, we don't get that. Right, because we don't have Hobby Lobby and we don't have um, uh, blah, 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 
um, Joanne's and all that and our Michael's I was telling them that I got mad at the manager which the, it's not the manager's problem but the manager could at least talk to somebody at head office down in the states you guys get all these michael sales you get all these coupons that we don't get you get like just clearance stuff you get like all this craziness up here we don't get that we pay full price we get a 40 percent off coupon that you can use on one item uh and that's pretty much it you know our yarn goes on sale every once in a while, but then it's not really a sale. You know, it's just pathetic. The only good sale that we really got lately was um, just in this last little while because the latte cakes were coming out. So they had to clear out a whole bunch of stuff. So we got, you know, five, to, even $5 a ball is not a great deal, right? But I mean, like they had a 25% off, um, well, that covers like the tax, <laughs> you know, um, but you know, I mean, when you get $5 a ball on a $12 ball, that's a great deal. But yeah, we don't get the same stuff that you guys get at all. I think in my humble opinion <laughs> that Michaels should be doing the same thing straight across the board. If you're gonna have sales down there, have sales up here, right? I think it's just fair, right? Because for some people that don't go across the border, you know, it's, it's not fair at all. Okay, that's my rant for the day. So anyways, <clears throat> I'll leave the link down below for Chronically Crochet. She just, oh, you gotta see these yarns. It was just insane. I have to say hi to Dana at Wonderlust. Hi, Dana. Uh, Dana was, <laughs> she was giving me a call out there and um, she was, she's so cute. I just, I love her, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, so hi, sweetheart. Um, okay, <clears throat> Jada and Stitches just did a new hat called the Autumn Primrose Hat. <laughs> I said to myself last night, I'm gonna make this hat. Yes. <laughs> I can't show you what I had made before, but <clears throat> she used a 5.5 millimeter hook with a four weight yarn. How she got that hat to look so perfect, I don't know. Because when I did it, it went whoop, and I couldn't even get it on my head. It was so, it was like for a kid. It was, I was like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand this. And I think what it was is the Pico stitch just went and sucked it all together. <laughs> and I was like, uh oh, this isn't gonna work. So I had to frog the whole thing. Yarn everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and I was using the Karen Big Cake. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my. <clears throat> so I was using the Karen Big Cake in this color because it's an autumn hat, right? And this color is, what did I say it was? Cranberry, I don't have my glasses on. Cranberry crisp. So I had to redo the hat. And I changed the brim instead of doing I number one. I hate doing hats from the bottom up. I I don't know why. It just, it irks me. Um, I, ju I just can't do it. And I think it's because I don't like the bunching of the top when you have to cinch it together. You know, I like the top to be nice and smooth. Um, but anyway, 
So she did the, you know, chain three and then start the ladder right all the way up for the brim. I didn't do that. I did a foundation double crochet chain, right? Oop, can you see that? And then I did the front post, back post. And so I did that and I upped my hook size to a nine millimeter, an M. And it actually turned out really nice. It actually turned out like an adult hat. <laughs> so here it is. See that bunching there when you have to, that's what I don't like. I like to hide that with a pom pom and I'm probably gonna still do that. But yeah, I don't like the way that bunches up like that. So the problem with this stitch is you can't tell what it is, right? Like it's a pico stitch and then it's a shell stitch and a pico stitch and then a shell stitch. But you can't really tell what's going on there. It just looks like a whole bunch of stitches. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's a pretty hat, but yeah. It was, it was fun to make. I mean, it was different. I've never done a Pico stitch before. Oh, there goes Odie. <laughs> Sandy from Left is Right said, said on her one video there that I had said, oh, Odie's being so quiet. And apparently she was snoring through the whole thing. <laughs> and I don't even notice it anymore. I'm just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, hopefully soon, 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 soon. I won't have to worry about that anymore. Charlie. From Happy with that. Have a yarn with Charlie. If you haven't watched her latest video, you got to go watch her. She, she's so tired. She's silly and she is hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> she got her knit crate and one of the patterns in there was like a bird stitch or whatever. Well, if you've seen the couple videos before that, she had a goose incident. Oh my God, it was hilarious. <laughs> so now they're sending her bird patterns and she's just shaking her head like, what? Yeah. <laughs> So, um, and then at the bottom of the knit crate, oh, it said something to the effect of, why are you looking at my bottom? The good stuff is up there. I, oh my God, I almost peed my pants. I was laughing so hard. I had I don't get knit crate, right? So that was just hilarious. And she was laughing. When she laughs, I start to laugh. And it's just, oh, it's, it's too funny. Like, like she just, she does these crazy things and says these crazy things to just get you going. I mean, I love her to bits. She's, <laughs> she's a hoot. If you want a good laugh, go watch her. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, go away. Uh, I just ordered the Crochet Magazine. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna start, get, or Crochet World Magazine, sorry. Oh, stop, you're hitting the table. Oh, she wants to come say hello again. Oh, come here. Ah, there you go. Oh, jeez. There. Okay, you happy now? So she, uh, she, uh, um, yeah, so I just ordered that. I don't know. It's probably going to take a couple weeks to get here. Um, but uh, I'm so excited because it's that Annie's magazine. Oh, God, I would love to go to Annie's. Like seriously, I would love to go. Oh, um, so when I start getting that, I'll show you guys. You're getting heavy. Um, yeah, because I think that's the uh, Crochet World. Yeah, that's the one that I had just bought. Oh, wait a minute. No, 
crochet in a weekend annie's crochet in a weekend that's the one i wanted to order but it did say annie's on it so i'm thinking that annie's does both of them i'll have to go back and take a look because that's the one i wanted maybe i'll get two <laughs> anyway um mr crochet b would like he came home to get a coffee in between his jobs and he says you know i was thinking you should do this <laughs> i'm like okay so he would like to know where everybody's from he would like you to comment down below say hi and and tell us where you're where you live because he wants to know how far this goes like how far are my subscribers just for some fun so yeah so do that for him that would be really nice um <clears throat> oh this morning i just watched cheryl from seabolts um uh, seabolts with yarn and hook um her mom was going to be coming home soon and she is getting helping getting the house ready for that she is knitting up a storm or crocheting up a storm like holy man girl you must crochet so fast you know in four hours you did all that and then she's making afghans and lapgans and pillows and pumpkins and like all this other stuff and i'm just like like i can barely get a hat done in a night like seriously wow that's insane you must drink a lot of coffee <laughs> so oh yeah that's craziness wow keeps you busy i guess yeah um oh crystal Crystal from Crystal's Crochet and stuff. She just got a package um, from Jennifer at uh, Cinnamon Stitches. I love Jennifer's channel too. Jennifer does hand dyed yarn. Wow. Her stuff is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like rich, beautiful colors. <clears throat> and crystal got one in the mail oh my god it was so pretty i was so jealous you know just drool drool <laughs> i'm just like oh, oh, oh right like i don't buy hanks right because i just find that they're so expensive i did like i said this before in one of my videos i just i cannot i can't spend third 20 30 40 50 60 dollars for hank i just can't you know because i sell my crochet and nobody is going to buy a hat made from a 30 or 40 dollar ball uh, or hank of yarn for 20 you know for how, however much i'm gonna have to spend or to sell it for right so those hanks of yarn are for something very very special whether you're making it for a family member or a friend or yourself. But I don't make things for myself, right? I made that one top. That was it. And I've worn it once. <laughs> so, because um, you need spaghetti straps. And I don't have any spaghetti straps. So, I have to, and summer's almost over, so maybe I can get them on sale. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, but her stuff, I'm going to have to go and look at her website and check it out because, oh, so pretty. Odie, my God, really? Um, her stuff is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Uh, I, I mean, if I was going to buy Hanks like that, I would, I would just have them displayed. Let's see. This is my beautiful yarn that I will never touch. Cody. Really? She's not even asleep. She's just looking at me. There's 
I think she's doing it on purpose just to annoy me. <laughs> she's having such a hard time with her breathing stuff. I'm oh, getting really worried about her. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, I mean, those Hanks are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> um, and then, yes, I'm doing the mask today. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, there's a few ways that I can do this, and I'm just kind of mulling it over in my head, not sure what to do. So, but I use a product called Powertex, and it's a fabric hardener, and it's water soluble. <clears throat> it's water soluble, <laughs> water resistant. I mean, and uh, and it's um, water soluble as well. But it's a fantastic product, and I'll show you all about it in the video as well. Usually when I do these masks and I videotape them, I, I speed it up so that it's not such a long video and I cut out things and all that stuff. This time, because it's for you guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually talk in the video. <clears throat> oh man, I am so sorry. This is crazy. I think I'm going to talk in the video. I'll tell you about the product. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the process. Uh, and then I'll have some parts sped up. Like what I'm actually designing and all that kind of stuff. If you're curious about how I make these masks, I do have my other channel. It is linked down below. Um, it's called Sandy's Crafty Creations. And I have a lot of videos like all of these masks. The videos for those are down there down there over there up there on the I don't know. Um, so if you're curious before I do this video go check it out because it's uh, it's a really cool process and most of those are all sped up and so that you're not sitting there forever in a day watching me glue stuff to the canvas and <laughs> so but I do get really mucky See, there's that word, mucky, icky. <laughs> um, because I have power techs all over my hands. Right. And I sometimes I wear gloves, sometimes I don't. I like to be able to feel what I'm doing. I have that problem with everything I do. I have to be able to feel it. Because if I have gloves on and I can't feel what I'm doing, I can't I can't work properly. It's a sensory thing, I guess. So anyway. Okay, uh, I guess that's everything. I'm going to go and get this going. I, there's a lot of prep work to do before I even get the mask started. And, uh, and then I've got to you know, glue the mask to the canvas. I have to actually prep the canvas first. And then I can get started. On Anyways, you'll see all that. Okay, so happy end of vlogist. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys later. Hi again. <laughs> um, I just remembered something. Oh, let me fix this. Hang on. I just remembered something. I had a nice long chat with Lisa from Lisa's Crochet last night too. And we were talking about... Um, the video that I did about my yarn sale link down below and how confusing it was and everything and how I explained it on that one video but something else came up I told her that not only do I have a resellers link down below for ice yarns I also have yarn here from a whole bunch of different places that's ice yarns hobie hobium uh hirschner's um wool warehouse uh, blah, 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 blah. uh and i sell it to local 
people as well. And I thought about it and I thought, hmm, a lot of my featured yarn that I do on here is those yarns. So uh, Lisa was saying, well, why don't you let people know that it's for sale? Right? So I don't know how, like with the shipping and everything, because I know that going across Canada costs a lot more than me shipping down to the States. I don't understand that. But at any rate, so she was saying, you know, let everybody know. Like when you're when you're showing this yarn, tell them that you have X amount of uh, balls here or cakes or whatever how it is and say this is for sale and this is how much it is. And I thought about it. I was like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Hello. You know, because um, I have had a few people ask me about, you know, saying how much they love the yarns that I'm showing. Right. So I thought, well, hello uh, okay so that's what I'm gonna start doing I'm going to show you uh, uh, except it'll be on the um, down the yarny rabbit hole I'll start showing you what the yarn is I'll be telling you how many is in a pack or whatever and what it's made of and all that stuff and then I'll tell you how much it is uh, I won't be able to tell you the shipping right away because I won't know until I get an order and then I can find out, you know, but I'll tell you how many I have and all that kind of stuff. So if you would like to purchase it, you can. Okay. Um, somebody also asked me, they were saying, they made a comment that they don't want to go to a whole bunch of different channels for me, right? Like, um, down the yarny rabbit hole and happy mail and all that for those of you that are new those aren't no new channels they aren't separate channels it's all on this feed right if you look down below there's a playlist right and the playlist will have all the different sections of this channel you don't have to go and subscribe to another channel. It's all on this channel. If you hit the bell, the notification bell, you will get all of the videos I do, regardless of whether it's happy mail, down the yarny rabbit hole, um, whatever I'm doing, you will get them. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to click that link and it will automatically send you all the videos that I do, okay? So anyways, I just wanted to touch base with you on that and, and tell you what I'm planning on doing. Okay. <laughs> so thank you, Lisa. <laughs> okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.